Walters Gay three awards. I'm here to present the award for best performance in a year of games, beloved by audiences and acclaimed by critics. These actors delivered six unforgettable performances. And here are the nominees. All Best right. Performance. Best performance. Revenge is a weapon. It's been a long five years. Hope may feel beyond our grasp. You play grown up games, you face grown up consequences. Did you write I mean, I definitely Wade? voted Double. for Neil as a star. A star. They won't ever control me again. Ready for your annual physical? We have to talk. I'm the hero here. All right. Who was taking it home? Whoever wins. Idris is not there. <laughs> Jeff has given me the okay to it's say, okay. take as long as you want to. <laughs> thank everyone who's ever meant anything in your life. Oh my god. And I dare you. I, I love it. double dare you to try to break my whack record. Seven minutes, 59 seconds. Seven minutes and 59, no. And the award goes to. That was so long last year. Neil Nubar. <laughs> oh, buddy. I'm happy for him. Golden joysticks. And now here, oh, Sven. Sven, why are you amazing? <laughs> How sweet. Also, can we talk about the music of Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> Hi. Oh. What a little, oh. Um, this is I don't even know these people. They're making me emotional. Um, I just wanted to say, I know I don't have much time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give it a shot. Uh, so, no, thank you so very, very much for everybody that voted. Thank my incredible oh. fellow actors and the nominees, unbelievable talent. To be even considered amongst you is, is extraordinary, so thank you very much indeed. To Swen, to Larian, to all the writers, to Stephen Rooney, the writer of Astarian. Uh, to, I'm going to forget everybody. Uh, to yeah. uh, I mean, Stop, who shout works out to the writers, writers for real. To my fellow actors, 248 incredible actors that gave it heart oh, and soul. Oh my goodness, uh, To so me, many. Emilia, gracias para todos. Gracias, a gracias y coco también. And... To my agents, I will thank you later. I'm sorry, I'm gonna wrap it up apparently. One thing I will say, <laughs> please, that's okay. The community has reached out to so many of us at Larian and said they were seen and they were represented by this game when they lost hope, they felt isolated, they felt alone, and this game brought them together and gave them something to push through to help them all. And to you, I wanna say thank you so much for seeing us. Aww. I appreciate it. I love him so much. None of us are, thank you. I love all of them. <laughs> Here are the nominees for best community support. All right. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, and No Man's Sky. And the game award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> all right. And I am happy now to announce winners in a few more categories at the game awards. Here are the nominees for best RPG, oh. Baldur's Gate 3. Final We're not having Fantasy them come 16, on stage. Oh my of goodness. P, sea of Stars All right. and Starfield. All right. And the game award goes to it has Baldur's to be. Gate yes, 3. Yes, Baldur's Gate 3 best RPG. The nominees for best multiplayer this year. Here we go. Another Gate one. 3, best multiplayer. Let's go. Animals, I mean, look at all these. Come on. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And the game award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Yes, of course. Pretty good night. Baldur's Gate 3 is fun with friends. Player's Voice Award, 100% voted by the fans. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk oh my gosh. 2077, Phantom Liberty, Genshin Impact, Marvel's Spider-Man right? 2, and The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3 awards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It is time for you to join the others and complete our destiny. Druid. Oh, excels in every area. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. 
or red. <laughs> Come on. Just wait till you see Baldur's Gate. Aww. You'll never want to leave. Look at all of that. We have Baldur's Gate 3. It's party time. I have pre-ordered the deluxe edition on Xbox. I am so hyped to have it. Well, now to present Game of the Year it's time. from the upcoming films it's Wonka time. and Dune Part 2, please welcome Wait. YouTuber Modded Controller 360. Stop it. You didn't even call him Timothy Chalamet. You called him YouTuber. <laughs> oh, there he is. This guy is everywhere, I feel like. The uh, imagination, passion, and technical brilliance of the six nominees for the Game of the Year were truly inspiring. Here with a medley celebrating each of these games I love, once I again, love the orchestra. Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. And all of the games nominated deserve to have this, you know, little spotlight. Still haven't played Alan Wake 2. Or Alan Wake 1 for that matter. Everyone's, I mean, they won awards and everyone's raving about it. And I did like the trailers too. I mean, look at this. Oh, I see blue guy. Front and center. I listen to the soundtrack all the time. Orphan. Sometimes I'll wake up and I'll be thinking any Baldur's Gate song. Oh, Mario Bros. Wonder looks super adorable. It's just cute and fun. I mean, I also haven't played it, so I can't speak to its Game of the Year quality, but oh look, there he is! Oh, he's switching instruments. He's, he's a busy guy. Goodness. The number of times I have hummed that in our house, <laughs> especially while playing it. So good. Excellent follow-up to Breath of the Wild. I'm I'm loving Spider-Man too. Oh look at that instrument! <laughs> what even is that? It's like a weird giant oboe, but I don't think it has a reed. I have no idea what that instrument is. Wow, great sounds. Great soundtracks. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here he is. Timothy Chalamet about to announce the game of the year 2023. I'm ready. <laughs> and the game of the year is Baldur's Gate 3. Yes! The Baldur's Gate 3! Oh, wait! Look, I see people that I recognize from Twitter. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I just love that he's wearing this. 
Diesel? Okay, I mean, I guess I wasn't expecting him to wear the pants too, to the plate armor, but so shiny. So shiny. Give him all the time to speak, please. Uh... I didn't expect it anymore. Spence, um, stop it. Prepare a speech. Oh my thank God. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Just wait. Game like it. Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls for six years uh, on this game in sometimes very difficult circumstances. This was our COVID game. No. Um, along the way, we, we lost quite a few people also. So we want to dedicate this uh, to all the people we lost and especially. Uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist, uh, who passed away uh, in the uh, last month. Um, oh my gosh, everyone's I crying, I'm gonna cry, Over 2,000 people, so sit back and relax. Uh, but uh, I also <laughs> I hope he uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this entire uh, effort. Uh, our families, our friends, our partners, uh, you were the best, and without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Aww. No, say more. Oh, he's so nice. I love them so much. Oh, another studio that just like has that clear identity and dedication to what they do. I loved the Baldur's Gate 3 Awards. I mean, they didn't win every category, which makes me, so for, for me, best narrative, I haven't played Alan Wake 2, but the fact that it won for best narrative has me curious about what's the deal there. Also, I feel like that's a very tough category because you're like, I don't know, comparing storytelling? And there are many ways to tell amazing stories. So I don't know, I'm definitely biased and think that Baldur's Gate 3 should have definitely won for best narrative, but you know, I haven't played Alan Wake 2, so maybe I should check it out. Uh, but also, the other thing that was funny is that we have been told over and over, like, on track for Xbox launch in December, uh, stay tuned for the Game Awards, blah, blah, blah. And so, uh, apparently, uh, they were supposed to say, oh, by the way, Xbox players, you can play right now. So if you have been waiting for Baldur's Gate 3 on the Xbox Series X or S, it is available for purchase right now, and that makes me doubly excited because I'll be getting the deluxe edition sometime in January. I think that's when they're scheduled to ship, but uh, I already have the game, obviously. I just wanted extra physical stuff to display everywhere behind me. So um, that was the surprise. The accidental surprise was that it actually released and we didn't know about it, so whoops. My bad. Not my bad. It's Larian's bad, but they were excited because they won six awards at the Game Awards 2023, and I'm so happy that they got so much recognition. I gotta be honest, I played Tears of the Kingdom. I was like, this is for sure Game of the Year. Like, that's... That was my thing. I was like, Tears of the Kingdom. I think I am on record live on the internet saying that. I want to say Tears of the Kingdom because that has been my... I have like a very, very direct connection to Breath of the Wild as like the reason that I got back into gaming. So I have been waiting for Tears of the Kingdom for a very long time. I obviously mm. have played many hours and covered it for IGN. So I, <laughs> I haven't, I'm not even done with the game and I'm obsessed with it. And I knew Baldur's Gate 3 was gonna be a great game. I had already been playing Early Access and I loved it, but I didn't know, you know, sometimes you love games or a particular genre and that's not always the most popular, even though it's like very amazing uh, for you as a gaming experience. And so I wasn't expecting so many people to resonate with Baldur's Gate 3 and to recognize it for what it offers as a game. And I also got to say that since early access, when, when it launched and I started playing Baldur's Gate 3, I was shocked at, I didn't, I didn't even think it was possible to make the game better, but it felt better than early access even. I had played through act one and then there was all this stuff that I was just like, this is amazing. So I'm obviously a fangirl of Larian and Baldur's Gate 3. I love Divinity Original Sin 2. So like this is up my alley and I'm just so happy that other people were like, yeah, this is excellent. <laughs> so they definitely deserve game of the year.
Uh, and I'm very happy for everyone there. And oh, the Baldur's Gate 3 Awards! Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the Game Awards this year. I just talked about Baldur's Gate 3 in this uh, video. Um, but there were lots of reveals. There were other awards that I didn't even get to talk about. Um, also, Sea of Stars. Congrats. Best indie. I was also obsessed with that game this year. Uh, there seems to be a common theme. 2023, though, was amazing for games this year. And I'm just happy that so many people got joy out of games. Whatever games spoke to you, I'm happy that it seemed like a good year for players. Though we also must acknowledge it was a rough year for layoffs and just the industry at large dealing with, uh, I mean, it just seems like it keeps happening, these cycles of layoffs. And that's unfortunate because I do think that developers deserve more credit and uh, you know, stability for constantly cre creating these forms of interactive media that contribute so much to our entertainment and enjoyment. So I do hope that that improves over time. But for me, I enjoyed uh, the Game Awards. I, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to continue talking about Baldur's Gate 3 <laughs> and convincing everyone to play this game. So let me know your thoughts about this year's show. And if you want to check out my other Game Award content, you can check the links in the description. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, Wands Ready.